Hi everyone, welcome back to the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It's very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are witchy or Halloween oriented, cat lady box unboxings, trying vegan food, crafting with me, and all things chronic illness awareness. So shout out to all my fellow spoonies. So if any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also make sure and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video and give me a big thumbs up for doing all the work of doing these videos for you guys. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. I mean, I have fun doing it, but I still would appreciate the love. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to show you today is everything I've seen within the past week. Um, I actually missed the first half of the week because I was a little bit under the weather. So this is really what I've seen the last like three or four days um, but it's still a good amount of stuff and I'm really excited to get into it also oh I want to show you my jewelry today I'm really excited about it okay you can't see let's just pick you up so this really beautiful like death moth kind of brochy necklace and then these earrings I don't know if they're gonna show up on there they're like moons um, they're super glittery moons <laughs> I, I was just super excited for this outfit today. So anyway, let's get into the video guys Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Um, I Honestly didn't really you know when I was gonna be filming again. I um, Since the last video I got really sick um, And I don't know if you've, you could probably tell that last day or wasn't wearing makeup and I was just kind of like oh, you know, it's rainy and nasty and it was but I also just did not feel very well I still <laughs> wanted to go out looking for stuff but since then I got pretty rough I don't know if it was like a small stomach bug or food poisoning or what but it was not good so I just had to take some time to rest and so like the days I would normally go out um I, I couldn't I like I was it was not good. And then I had, there's a friend that's moving out of town, so I spent some time to hang out with her. And then I got kind of slightly sick again. Yeah, but I figured today's a nice day. I, I woke up feeling okay. So I was like, well, let's just do it today. Um, by the way, it's Sunday, July 18th. Figured I'm just gonna go out for as long as my stomach and body allow me to. I am planning, I'm gonna go across the river. There's an at home there. Um, that we always have a lot of success with and the website show that person just straight up run a red light well the website shows they have this ceramic black cat that lights up um, that was like one of the first things like everybody's store got for Halloween and none of the ones around me had it so I was just like and I've been like wanting it and like eyeing the website looking every time I go to all the different locations and no one ever had it but it showed up on the website like yesterday and it says they have it at the location so that's like <laughs> my main goal I really want to get that there's also a little strip mall that's got um, a home goods TJ Maxx and Ross so I figured I would stop into all three of those um, see if there's anything say I, I know I've seen people showing that stuff has been showing up at the different um, or like home goods and TJ Maxx and stuff so I figured it doesn't hurt to pop in at a different location than I've been going to and see if they have anything so that is the plan for today um, and we'll see how I feel after that if I still feel good and I haven't been out forever um, maybe I'll go to another location of something or you know we'll see where the Halloween takes us I will just see you guys at at home So the first thing we see is more of this like magic, the Lunar Magic uh, collection. There was this palmistry pillow that was really pretty, this very shimmery metallic gold on it, $17.99. I think that's the first time we've seen that so far this season. And then look, the blow-ups are here. <laughs> um, more of the pumpkins we've kind of seen. This ceramic little ghost. The edges look like they're freaking Uncrustables. Anyone else? <laughs> $6.99 for that. But it's still so, so cute. There's also a cat version of it up there as well. 
I believe that one was also $6.99. Yeah. It's really, really cute though. Those are really nice for the price, I think as well. All of our, our traditional Halloween heroes, orange, black, and white. Those wine tumblers are still there. The cat bowls. Um, and then we see there's like this little black tree. I thought it was really cute. I didn't see one available for purchase, but they're kind of giving you an idea of what you could do with all the different ornaments available. Then this little witch thing, they had something similar to it last year. I like last year's style a little bit better. This was $12.99. Um, I'll show you what I have from last year. She creepy. I love it. This year's is kind of just a little too cutesy for me personally. The little bow with the jack-o'-lantern and then the cat guys is the cat pumpkin i've been looking for this all season i'm really excited to find it 12.99 it's just as nice in person still some of those crafting pumpkins we round the aisle and there's finally more um more of the halloween hoedown line this little happy halloween sign the jack-o'-lantern 7.99 for that and the next thing are these little basums with the happy Halloween sign. Um, very cutesy country for sure. Uh, $6.99 for that. This, we see the mirrors again. They're back at this location. They also had this massive skull with like all these like lizards or salamanders all over it. You see how big it is compared to my hands. This is huge. This one was $19.99. I think a great price for how big it is. And it was a heavy skull. Our first little arrangement for Halloween as well. Some of the darker floral, $14.99. This larger, like, I guess a resin pumpkin. Um, I tried to get them both to light up, but the light was so, so dim on them. And those little round cutouts. I mean, it's interesting, but for $24.99, I feel like it's a little, a little too much. A spell book. So this is the second spell book we've seen this season. There's another one at Old Time Pottery. Um, skeleton, skeleton hands on this one, um, $39.99. This one's obviously much, much bigger, but you could do a whole, uh, spell book <laughs> kind of setup if you wanted to. Basums are still here. The snake reefs. They had these little wooden, like, spell, or not spell bottle, potion bottles. Um, I don't know. They look kind of cheap to me, honestly. They're $6.99. I feel like if you find something like that at Dollar Tree, it'd be better. $4.99 for this little skull with um, the butterfly. I really like this. And there was also a frog or toad to match it. This is a little bit more like garden witch to me than like Halloween, but $6.99. I think they're a fun feature. Definitely something you could keep out year round, honestly some snake candles they're black with silver snakes that are wrapped around them there were two different sizes the smaller one was $6.99 and then we had the larger one I believe was $8.99 yeah those were really nice I feel like you could also do those year-round depending on your style they had some candles the first one was nine lives I was smelling this it's very like Makes me think of mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works, a purple fortune teller one. This one's very like ghoul friend like. I loved the smell on those. Another big skull with butterflies on it. I think this one was only, yeah, it was $9.99, which I felt was very fair for how big that was. Candles with little skulls all over it, little skull faces. Um, we'll see another size of that later on but oh this skull they had this last year so if you missed out on it definitely check your store they might have it 9.99 i love mine there's glitter on it but just put it on a shelf leave it alone it'll be fine <laughs> these candelabras 12.99 i mean it's a decent price but you can see this one right here is already kind of like broken or um wobbly so i i don't know how good of quality those are going to be then they had the skeleton with a jack lantern, $19.99 for that one. Um, I think I was trying to get this one to light up, but it didn't. The other one does, but with the cowboy hat, it's not really, that's a little more Halloween hoedown than dark decadence personally. Um, but, you know, teach their own, I suppose. They had this last year, this is like a skeleton king on his throne. Very, very nice detailing for $24.99. I think this could be a great table centerpiece. There's another pumpkin with 
these beautiful glitter roses. I mean, the glitter definitely came off, but again, stick it on a shelf somewhere. Don't touch it. Spray it with hairspray. $12.99. It could be a good piece. These were gorgeous. I love these busts. Um, very kind of like 1920s or Victorian. $14.99 for both of those. This piece, I don't understand. It was like a skull in a stone wall. It does light up. I think it was, how much was this? It was $19.99. So I'll show you it lights up, but I really, I mean, you put it on a shelf, but I don't really understand it. It's kind of a, kind of an odd piece personally, but I'm sure somebody will find a way to make it work for them <laughs> depending on uh, what you're wanting to do with it. Definitely interesting for sure. Here's the smaller version of that other skull candle. This one was $7.99. We have some more skull face candles. Black Widow's the scent on that one. None of them tell you what it actually smells like. $7.99. So you just kind of have to go with your own intuition. They had this candle holder last year. It is gorgeous. I'm not a red shade person, but it's beautiful when lit up. Gargoyles. These are really cute. I think they'd be fun in a, like a kid's room, honestly decorate their room if they wanted to especially for the price $4.99 I think it would be perfect for that these skeleton hands holding a little like tea light holder $4.99 we have our same kind of doormats not a ton of new ones there um, but the blow-ups guys look at these especially the cat that jack-o'-lantern you see jack skeleton more pumpkin in the background the tree right there look at the details on the cat you could see the feet have claws it's just it's so precious. I love the purple willow tree. I think they had that last year. Um, and I was kind of happy to see it. But it's expensive. $99. But I mean, it's a beautiful piece for sure. Here's all some different blow-ups. Our dog, cat, another dog, another dog. <laughs> but decent prices ranging from like 20 to like 45 depending on the, the size of them. All of our Nightmare Before Christmas ones. A lot of really, really fun ones. And our cat. <laughs> but I see I had a little selfie spree in there with the blow-ups. I had a great time seeing them for sure. And then I went in to look just like some regular everyday stuff. So with their glasses, they had this um these dark, like dark glass kind of style. I don't really know how to <laughs> describe it, but it was back there with their regular dishes. So I feel like if you're looking for an everyday dark setup, go look um, this whole Natural Wonders collection. They had a lot of beautiful black pieces. So whether you're looking for something just for Halloween or if you're looking for like year round stuff, great things. These are heavy. I actually couldn't pick this one up because it's, it's heavy material different size plates but these were like $5.99 per plate which is not bad if you wanted to just get like four and then you have some really nice plates for a whole table setting but yeah definitely check this section out and then also back there they had the fall stuff but there was these clear pumpkin um I think they're like cookie jars, but you could use them like if you're a crafter, put ribbon in them. You could use them for so many things around the house or paint them. That would be a fun craft project with kids too. So definitely look those up. And then the candlestick holders. I wanted to look at these because they had some just standard black ones. These would be great on a mantle or in a shelving unit for Halloween, especially to create different heights, different dimensions. I definitely think check those kind of things out so that way you're not stuck just looking in the Halloween section. There's stuff that you could find in the everyday use that um, could really help your display. So definitely check those out. There was definitely, you know, different styles, different heights, a lot of, a lot of potential. All right, guys. So what did we think? We found some good stuff, right? I'm so happy they've added stuff. I am really sad though that it appears like the cauldron mug and the actual cauldron are like sold out apparently somebody came and got like a cart full of all of them which annoys the crap out of me but whatever <laughs> um and then also the like skeleton spoon rice all of the whole skeleton dishware collection i didn't see anywhere on the website showing it's all sold out of this location and like everywhere in cincinnati so that's great. We did find some other stuff um, I really am happy about. I'll show you guys what all I got whenever we get home. Um, 
the blow ups, by the way, super, super cool to see like all those massive blow ups. Um, I, my yard is tiny. I live within the city limits and it's also like a hundred years old. So I don't have a plug, um, outside to like even plug in a blow up. So, um, those aren't really an option for me, but I think they're super cool, especially if you have a big yard um, and or like a neighborhood with a bunch of kids. I think that would be super fun. But I loved, love, love the big cat. Oh my gosh. And then the tree. A lot of those, um, I feel like we've seen years past, I believe, but they're always exciting to see nonetheless. I would say some of the decor also, you probably heard me say the voiceover, but some of that um, I believe was from last year as well. But I think it's good because I know last year was a crazy year for all that kind of stuff um, with it just selling out so, so soon or maybe some stores not getting much inventory. So I think it's nice for people who missed out to be able to get it again. So um, good luck to you guys if, if anybody is searching for something they couldn't get last year and, and hoping to get this year. Good luck to you. Um, right now, I am headed to Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Um, that whole little area, there's like all three of them next to each other. So I'm just going to go to those. Um, you know what? Actually, there is a Michaels on the way. I'm going to stop in Michaels and see if this location has any of their um, Halloween like, wreath stuff or just any of their Halloween items out yet. So let's do that first. We're going to go to Michaels first and then we'll go to all three of those. So, um, I will see you at Michael's. Okay guys. So I went inside Michael's. Um, there was not any Halloween stuff or any wreath Halloween stuff. The only thing I saw were those like vintage Christmassy tree kind of things that they have every year. There's a black one and then there's an orange one. If you're wanting something like that, just get it at home. The ones here were like $59. I mean, they might be a bit bigger than the ones at, at home, but I really don't know that it's worth that big of a price difference because at home ones I think are maybe $20. It's silly to me to pay what Michael is charging for them. So, but that that's all I saw in there today. So I'm gonna go um, head to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross. We'll see if we can find anything at those. So let's go. Hey everyone, so um, I'm actually back home now. <laughs> I went to Ross, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. There was not anything in any of those, um, but while I was in TJ Maxx, um, I did get a call from Cracker Barrel. Um, I had called them this morning. Actually, I called several locations this morning because I'm looking for a particular item, and um, this location had one but it was already on hold for someone else but she said it had been on hold for like three days so I was like well can you take my name phone number if you know they don't pick it up or whatever just let me know I'd love to purchase it so I got a call and she said um her manager said just to go ahead and sell it because they've been holding it for so long and the person hadn't come to get it so when I first saw this item actually on like social media and everything I thought it was absolutely beautiful but not necessarily my style just because it looked like it was going to be like a little too fancy for the kind of stuff I do I mean you can see like I do like stuffed animal stuff I do like I don't know kind of witchy but like cutesy kind of stuff um so I was like, I don't know if this really fit in with my decor. The more pictures I saw of it, the more I was like, I could keep this out year round and be able to add um, different flowers to it depending on the season. I could put some lights in it to change the color, again, depending on the season and just the theme and all that. And so I was like, hey, if I can get my hands on this thing, I'm going to because it's, it's just so beautifully done. But anyway, I'm going to stop teasing you and just show you what I got look at it it's the resin ghost with lantern from cracker barrel and um it's a pretty large size if you can see i didn't know it was gonna be quite so big um the little tea light in here is on a battery operated one so that does light up and then there's a hole here in the center i'm gonna put some like fairy lights in it and i'll probably put it on top of my shelf right here but i think it's just it's so beautiful and like the the flowiness of it I don't know I look up it look at it less like a ghost and more just like 
very witchy even like an air spirit or an air witch like you can't see her but you see her flowing cape and her outfit and I don't know I just I've, I've definitely fallen in love with this item so I'm super super happy I was able to get my hands on it if you're looking for it definitely call before you go to a Cracker Barrel near you um, I know I have like maybe at least four or five within like a 30 mile radius of me, which I'm super lucky about that. And of, I think I called three or four this morning and only one had it and it was the one that was already on hold. So definitely call just to save yourself a trip. Um, everyone I talked to at every single location was super, super nice about like, oh, I'm so sorry we're out of it. Or, you know, if this one was like, yeah, let me take your information. I'd be happy to do that. Like everyone was super kind. So um, just when you call, also be nice to them. I'm sure they would very much appreciate it because <laughs> customer service is a crazy job. Oh, I forgot actually, at Cracker Barrel, I did get one other thing. I got this shirt at Cracker Barrel um, <laughs> because it's the Great Pumpkin. I absolutely adore Charlie Brown, the Great Pumpkin. Like, it is one of my favorite things. I watch it every single year. I have it on DVD. Like, it is, oh, it's, it's like I have to watch it every year. It's always one of my favorite things. So I saw the shirt for it and I was like, this is super cute. And it's really soft. So they had this at Cracker Barrel in case you're also a fellow Charlie Brown great pumpkin lover. First thing I got, oh, this was turned on, was the little black cat and it lights up. It has these like moon stars cutouts. It's just so cute. It's like a pumpkin black cat and I mean, Lord, me and cats, I have to do it. <laughs> Especially when it lights up like this and it's like really nice looking. I love this, like the orange detailing on it. Again, you know it matches my decor in my living room. So um, I had to have this. Okay, I also got this little ghost guy. I just thought it was really precious looking. I've already got one or two other little ghost things. So I feel like I'm gonna do a whole ghost shelf on my um, my shelving unit right here. So it's just, you know, it's just got such a precious smile and face to it. I really like this too. Okay, and this is also, I mean, I would say some of this maybe not necessarily my style, but also I got the little basin with the happy Halloween sign. I just really liked it. I know this is a little bit more like country looking, but as a girl who grew up in Tennessee, kind of have to do homage to that every now and then, but I love that it's a little basin um, and it like stands up on its own. So I thought it'd be cute to have one of those. I'm going to have a whole witch shelf. So I thought I would put that with all my other little witchy things. So, and then the last thing I got, um, I actually been eyeing this since they put it out like several weeks ago, but it's still been there and I decided I really loved it. So it's this gold skull. It was beautiful flower detailing my vanity upstairs is purple black and gold so I just thought this would be really pretty to put up there on my vanity another little gold piece but it adds my little spookiness to it as well so I really like this as well and I figure it was still there I, I was patient I've waited several weeks I was like okay it's still there it's meant to be beautiful little skull so that's all I got for today. Um, I am probably gonna film at least one more day for this video. I think I'm going to hold off on Bath and Body Works until maybe at least the end of the week, so the next video, because I think that's when they're actually meant to start putting out Halloween stuff. So it may be a check-in with Old Time Pottery. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I'll figure it out and I'll see you guys, see you in like 10 seconds. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, it is a new day. It is July 20th. Way too freaking bright. Um, I am up and at them super early today um, because I have quite a few things I want to get to. I'm going to, I have to go to Target first to get something else. Um, actually, it's a comforter someone talked about in my Halloween Forever group, but it's a comforter I've also been eyeing forever. Um, once I get it, I'll show you. It's actually going to be my birthday gift. My husband was like, yeah, just go ahead and get it because I've been wanting it forever. Anyway, I'm going to pick that up um, and then I'm going to at home and then I'm going to be going to Old Time Pottery because I think they have some new stuff. Oh, and I just want to check and see, get a little update of what they've got going there. There's a Marshalls, Michaels, and Big Lots all in the little area. So I'm going to go and check those out. And then we'll probably be done for the day because that's going to be a whole lot of driving. 
I am going to at home specifically because um, I'm actually trying to find a uh, the pumpkin cookie jar I saw last time when my friends was like, hey, can you pick that up for me? So um, Claire, fingers crossed I find it for you. <laughs> that is the goal. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just see. We'll see what we find today. I'm excited, hopeful. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. I know not everyone loves the sun. Well, I don't love the heat at all. Heat, humidity, I could literally do without. Oh, I'm so sorry it got so dark. Um, I'm going down a shady street. Um, but the sun like lifts my mood like no one's business. Like gray days, rainy days, I can't handle. They give me headaches. They also make my joints hurt a lot. So <laughs> I live for like sunny days that are like 65 degrees and just beautiful. So that's not today. Today's just sunny and humid, but you know, <laughs> take the winds where you can. But anyway, I was gonna start saying, um, I was like, I saw that it was gonna be a good day. And I was like, you know, I, I just, I'm really big on affirmations. I know it's gonna sound kind of silly, especially if you're someone who doesn't say them very often or um, it, it just feels weird <laughs> um, or just silly or nonsense. But I'll say like, I think they can be a really powerful thing for your mood and your attitude of the day. Um, like I know the other day when I found the Cracker Barrel ghost and all the other fun things at home that I had been looking for for like months, probably a month, but it felt like months. I started the day, I was like, you know, today is going to be a good day. It really is. And so it's like when you start your day off with just some sort of I think positive affirmation or how you want your day to go or say like you're not feeling well you're like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay it's gonna be good I'm gonna feel better I'm gonna take the time to rest that I need or I'm gonna do xyz and I think even if maybe it doesn't actually happen it can put you in a better mindset so if it doesn't maybe go the way that you wanted or planned um you're able to handle it better if that makes sense um and I will say for me, like, doing those actually even helps me physically. It's very strange because I think I'm focusing so much on just staying calm and relaxed and it's going to be okay. That, like, it helps, like, ease the stress mentally, which has really interesting physical ramifications. Um, I don't know. This is getting a whole lot of witchy mumbo jumbo, so this isn't your thing. I'm very sorry, but... I love this stuff and I think it can be really beneficial if it's something you're interested in or open to. So um, anyway, I'm about to get on the interstate, so I'll stop my my rambling of all my <laughs> all my good juju. <laughs> but all right, I'll see you guys probably at at home. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so at home is literally like right over there, and it's just now nine o'clock, so they should be open like now. Um, let's go and be <laughs> the first person in the store and be the one buying Halloween because that is a whole vibe. You guys, as I was walking in, they were literally having their morning morning huddle. I got stared at. It was great. <laughs> All right, so we saw these um, flicker candles. There's a set of six of those. I really like those, actually. Um, and then they also had some that are meant for indoors, like in your window. $3.99 for those. I kind of like that super, like, 80s style, and I'm kind of digging it. Um, and then let me see what else we had. A lot of the same stuff. Oh, they did have this like uh, projection of all these jack-o'-lanterns. I like the colors on that. <laughs> it's very, very like pumpkin rave. Uh, $12.99 for that. Here's some more of the um, fabric. There's a spider web table centerpiece and this runner is the one that had the skull on it. Only Blaken we saw was a fall one. All right, lots of light. So we're getting into the battery operated lights. Um, two different uh, colors on this. There's orange ones and purple ones. Each of those were $4.99. They had this flicker flame bulb I really like. $6.99. It's a super fun effect for sure. Then they had um, these globe lights. It flickered $14.99 for that set. Some dangling little spiders, $14.99 for that. Then they had, look at these bulbs. 
Does this remind anybody else of the past? <laughs> $14.99, they have purple, orange, and multicolor. These are super old school, and I'm really loving it. Oh my gosh, blast from the past for sure. Battery-operated pumpkin lights, little jack lantern, $6.99 for that set. And then they had um, different strings of, uh, there's the purple ones were LED and the orange ones were incandescent. I couldn't figure out why the price difference, but it's because orange are incandescent and the purple are LED. So I guess just pay attention when you're purchasing those. <laughs> and they had different bulbs. There was a purple one and an orange one, $1.99 for those. And then we had some candy corn lights, string lights. So for four ninety nine. I thought those are really pretty on like a little Christmas or a, like a Halloween tree. Then they had this huge like branchy kind of basin. This would be amazing at a front door. Fourteen ninety nine. If you have one on either side of your door, that would be a super witchy look. And I, oh, that would be so so cool. I love it. <laughs> Whew, guys. Okay, so. Wow, I, I guys, I am surprised. Things are really starting to actually sell out. Um, Claire, I'm so sorry. The the cookie bowl jar was gone. They had like six the other day. None now. Um, that fun mirror we saw last time with the eyeball on it, completely gone now. Um, things are selling out. So honestly, I say if you go to at home, you see something you like. If you can afford to go ahead and get it then I would get it because things are just not lasting and also maybe it's just art you know the area I'm in in Ohio slash northern Kentucky kind of area it feels like we're getting a lot less inventory than some of the other places I've seen people getting um like Jade the Libra and Mitch Munster I watch their videos a lot and they'll have stuff and then they when they show the full stock of it they're getting so much of it whereas us like we get two of that item so it's just like so of course it's gonna sell out super quick because we don't have as much inventory and we're not like a small town. So I don't really know what's going on. Maybe they're just having issues getting inventory. Um, like the whole skeleton section that I wanted to get like with the spoon rest and like the um, utensil holder, all of that. As soon as they went on the website, it was pretty much sold out. So maybe somebody came and got the whole stock of it. But like, I never saw any of that in stores, which is kind of sad because I really wanted the spoon rest. I'll look at traffic. I may either be going to another at home or I may just go ahead and head to old time pottery um, and check all that stuff out. Let's see where I go. Okay, so I decided to do old time pottery because I just don't think it's worth driving all the way out to that other at home if there's probably not much. So yes, we are at old time pottery. <sighs> okay, I'm already getting tired. <laughs> but this is good. I'm having fun. I'm just tired. All right, let's go in. <laughs> okay, voiceover time again. Because let me tell you, Old Time Pottery loves their cheesy classic rock. <laughs> All right, so they had um, these different reusable bags. Um, they were $1.99. There was one that said Trick or Treat, Spider Webs. And then there was another one that had this ghost in a truck that said Trick or Treat. The rest of them were um, fall. But I really, I, I like those. Those are nice big size. Um, they have their first outdoor mats, so happy Halloween, interview dare, I really liked this one, $9.99, if I didn't already have a mat this year, I probably would have gotten this one, and then the witches in, I think we saw that one at, at home actually, they are outdoor signs still, indoor signs, a lot of the tinsel, oh and then a new witch house um, with little ghosts, um, this one does light up. It's $12.99, so it has the multicolor lights. I think Old Time Pottery just loves their multicolor lights, let me tell you, <laughs> for sure. And then this was such a fun piece. If you're getting married in October, this would be adorable at a wedding. These little skeletons in this fancy car, such a cute and unique piece. $14.99, I really, really liked that. Then there's this little jack lantern with a witch hat and a little spider dangling from it. That's so, so cute. These were $4.99 and they do light up as well. Very cute. And they also had it um, with, I believe it was with, uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, it was with, uh, sorry, I got distracted. They had it with the purple as well. So, 
I was trying to get it to turn on, but for some reason this little this little button did not wish to cooperate, but they do light up for sure. This hand holding a jack lantern with spider web. This is such a fun piece. This one lights up as well, $24.99. <laughs> I love that. And this piece. Okay, so it took me forever to figure out what it said. I just saw all the bones and I couldn't figure it out. I was like, okay, well, the glass is still in there. So it's obviously a candle holder. It says something. 14. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like, what did you bring me on? What kind of ride is this? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. 9.99. So I was like, wait, let me pick it up. And then I held it. And then I was able to finally see against the floor that it says Halloween. Did it take anybody else that long? No, <laughs> just me and our derpy skeleton. All right, these uh, skull candle holders. These are pretty interesting. Um, pretty big as well. Twelve ninety nine for that. Then this <laughs> this white pumpkin. It looks like a baseball pumpkin, but also I don't know what's going on with this poor guy. Twelve ninety nine. He he needs some eye drops or something. <laughs> this stacked jack o' lantern in the black, orange, and white. It does light up as well. This one I think it was twenty four ninety nine. My camera just didn't want to cooperate. It was like no, we shall not focus. We shall not focus. Okay, <laughs> glittery pumpkin. I like how this looks. I just didn't want to touch it. Nine ninety nine and her mummy hand it's like it's like thing 7.99 but it's a mummy thing <laughs> very fun we had benny sitting at a lamp post with a little jack lantern friend these are 12.99 for this and it does light up as well i like that that's a fun piece okay so we saw last time these jack lanterns the smaller ones um, the skull on the jack lantern, but now there's the bigger skeleton on the jack lantern. Fourteen ninety nine. Those light up again, the multicolored. This sign, I would say, if you get these, be careful. Look, that one right there is already cracked, so definitely check your pieces. This does light up. It's really nice. It's twenty four ninety nine. Just be careful when you buy it. This little skeleton guy, little trick or treater skeleton. It looks like it's a planter or candy holder. I really thought that was cute. Very unique piece. This one was twenty four ninety nine. Pillows. Okay, so they had a um bunch of plaid ones. One with pumpkin on it. Another one said trick or treat. And then the last pillow I found was this. Um, it was like a cat, and it had a little witch hat on it. And I believe it said, oh yeah, I'll put a spell on you. Those were cute. Those are $14.99 for those, which is pretty, pretty standard, I feel like, for those kind of things. Our normal lights, not too much new, but look, they had the orange Edison lights, but this thing, the uh, the spider on the gauze. Oh my gosh, look. Two. You shall only get two spiders <laughs> this was cracking me up i'm like wow they're stingy with their spiders huh the solar lights the witch one we saw last time but i finally got it to light up then they had the new ones there is a bat a jack-o-lantern these were all 99 and then there was like a skull and crossbones i couldn't get that to light up which symbol of death not lighting up is very ironic so they have all of those for $9.99 right now. And the last things were um, this another witch hat with a little spider on these books, brews, potions, and curses. That was $9.99. And then they had this really amazing snow globe, Book of Shadows, Basic Spells, Potions. The snow globe had a skull with this raven in it or crow in it. I think this was only, yeah, it was $9.99. I had to give it a shake. I mean, come on. This is very beautiful piece. Really happy to see what we saw. I really like all the, the fun new little witchy things they had. The little pumpkins, the witch hats, and the spell book with witch hat. I'm very pleased it makes a worthwhile trip. I told you, it's going to be a good day, guys. I will... 
see you guys at Michael's. Okay, so I went in Michael's and um, they finally have like two or three wreath things for Halloween, but like all of the bins for the picks are empty except for I think one. So I don't know what it's with my area. Like it seems like everyone else has had the Michael's wreath stuff for like a week, if not longer. And some of them are even starting to get more than that. Like the spooky town stuff or whatever. And mine still doesn't even have the wreath stuff. So, I mean, at least there's empty space. It means they're working on filling it. I don't know if we're just a hard area to get to or where it's coming from. But whatever. But went into Marshall's and they had a couple things. Um, it was all like little Ray Dunn signs. Um, I'll show some video. So there was one that said like, um, here for the booze and it had a little ghost on it. Um, one said the witch is in and had a witch hat. There was, um, I think another, it said, um, I'll, I'll have some, or trade you treats for wine <laughs> or something like that. Um, and then, I know there was one more, but I'll make sure and show the video of that. So that's all it was. There wasn't any blankets. I'm looking for the blankets. I know it's like 90 degrees and I'm looking for blankets, but I want their blankets because the Sherpa blankets they always have are so, so nice and they go pretty quickly. So hopefully, I mean, the fact that we got something at all for me is progress. You know, I think I'm not going to go to Big Lots today. I'm going to hold that off. I'll do it to the next video because I have, I know there's going to be so much on this one and I still want to leave time to go home and show you guys what I got. Do a little, a little mini haul and everything. Um, plus, I'm just starting to feel wore out. <laughs> I will just see you guys back at the house for our little haul. I'm going to do another like just informal. It's just so much easier when I come home rather than having to set up like the full lights and tripod and all that. Especially when I'm wore out like this. First, at Target, I just want to show you guys this comforter. Beautiful, like mossy green, velvety. It's oh, it's so lush feeling and looking. I'm so excited. And I have been waiting for this to go on clearance for like ever, and it hasn't. Um, and I just told my husband this is what I wanted for my birthday. <laughs> my birthday is at the end of August, and I was like, well, <laughs> I want. Can we just go ahead and get it now? <laughs> I'm so very excited to have this. I also got this like body pillow cover. It's fuzzy, fuzzy black material. Mm. It's gonna be so, so just nice to cozy up to. All right, so for at home, here's what I got. I there was a couple sets, so I just got one little set of two. And mm, I love that they're <laughs> little skull hands. Okay, and from Old Time Pottery, I got a couple of things. I got some of the, um, this bag, and then I also got the reusable bat bag. Or no, it's actually spider. It says trick or treat. Um, just because I feel like I always use reusable bags, and I don't have a ton that are like big, big ones, so they're really nice to have. Okay, and then I am got this little pumpkin. I think this does flash, so if you have epilepsy, please look away. Um, and it's got a little spider hanging from it. <laughs> I think it's fun because it matches the other ones I got um, from there, um, the little pedestal one. So I got, there was a green or a purple one, and then I think there was one that's orange, so I got both of those, so it'll... I love symmetry <laughs> and these are pretty cheap as well so um I, i'm hearing i know not a lot of people like the like rainbowy bright colors but i don't know there's something in me that's like really enjoys it it's it, like makes it more like mystical fairy like rather than just like spooky so maybe there's that part of me that's just like oh it's like fairy dust going off inside of a jack-o-lantern <laughs> Is that silly? Probably, but I love it. <laughs> and the last thing I got is from Marshalls, and it was the the witches in sign, little Ray Dunn sign. I honestly don't really care a ton for Ray Dunn stuff. It's not usually my style because it's very kind of farmhousey, but I I just loved the sign and with the little witch hat because I'm obviously working on a witchy theme <laughs> between witches, ghosts, and pumpkins. I've got like three themes that are gonna be going on in my living room, but I'm excited for them. 
So I think that is all for this video. Um, please comment below what you like, what you maybe didn't like, what you're looking for this year. I'm excited. It seems like places are really starting to ramp up. So Fanger Trice will really be seeing more at, at, at plenty of other places, and which just means all the fun hunting can continue. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.